version, we took some of the best features from PC and brought them over, such as multiplayer, such as replay features and customizations. What we added to the WiiWare version is a really cool recording system. So as you've seen maybe on some of the YouTube videos, you can do a replay and then you can play it back at any speed and you can play back and back and forth. That feature is really great and hopefully we can uh, eventually bring that uh, to PC as well. We have some new customizations such as uh, hair, uh, which is kind of fun. Let's say you de decapitate someone and the head starts spinning, you get like a nice physics of the hair when it bounces away. And also for the blood, we managed to do some really cool physics for the blood. So let's say the common blood particle comes flying, and then it lands on the character, it can smear down, then let's say he moves, uh, the blood particle will jump off the character and fall down and maybe smear on some other body part. That looks extremely nice. With the PC version of Toy Bash, we updated to have the same features as the Wii version. So some of the features we have done uh, for WiiWare, I'm trying to bring over uh, to PC at the moment. Uh, so for WiiWare, since it's the same platform, the same graphics card, the same physics, we really try to uh, push it to the limit uh, of what it could do, uh, could do. But some of those features, such as the recording system, uh, will be in Toribash, uh, the next version, which will be Toribash uh, 3.9. And with that as well, we get the added benefit of uh, uh, getting a better framework. So the problem we've had in the la latest couple of versions is that we've been keeping adding features and eventually the frame rate started to drop too much. But with this recording system, uh, people who play online will be uh, getting a much better frame rate. What are the new features that we can expect to see in Torbash 3.9? Okay, so for Torbash 3.9 we've added some, yeah, this new recording feature uh, but we also have uh, new features such as uh, betting on the servers. We've already started to do a bit of that, but that's turned out to be really popular. Uh, so while you're waiting in queue for playing online, you can bet on the two players uh, playing. This is really popular. We also added some, uh, or rewritten the camera system. So there were a really popular Lua script for Tori Bash, which added a, a free cam. And as some of the newer YouTube videos, they all use that, so you get like really nice camera movements and you can, can spin around. But that was written in Lua, so it's a bit sort of hacked on top of the game. So what we've done is we incorporated this script, we, uh, written it in C++ and, and added it to the engine. So if you hit 1, 2, 3 or 4, you, you get uh, different camera modes that you can play with. This is a really nice feature. How about the big release, uh, 4.0? Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so I, I usually never reveal any features for new releases. This is mainly for two reasons. that uh, Up until the release date, I really don't know if the feature is good enough to be in, in the version. If, and let's say I say, okay, we're going to do this feature, and then it doesn't make it, then people say, oh, well, you lied to us, and why isn't that feature there or not? And also, it's, it's more fun to sort of, oh, this is the new one we're going to have in 4.0 and then everybody gets it on the same day. But what we have re revealed on the forum, well, it's out there already that we have done a, a new graphics engine for the, for the game. So we're doing a real-time ray tracing engine. And with that we get uh, uh, like body parts made of, of uh, uh, reflective surfaces such as uh, it looks like uh, Quicksilver. And we get floor that has really nice reflections. Uh, that engine, of course, is uh, no more for video makers, and you really need a quite uh, good graphics card to run it. But uh, it's cool to be one of the first games to really incorporate real-time ray tracing as uh, as part of their part of the game. But of course, uh, adding graphics is that doesn't make a really major release. We're going to do some gameplay changes. We're going to add some new features to the servers, and sort of tidy up uh, the game a bit. When will version 3.9 release? Uh, hopefully, when it's done, but uh, we've started doing beta versions for it already. So we added a new section on the forum where people can uh, participate in the testing of the new versions. So if you want to find bugs or play uh, a buggy release, there is a new section in operations and support called beta releases. And there we are in the release number 
uh, beta release number four at the moment, and we're trying to sort of figure out all the bugs with the different graphics cards, the different operating systems. But it's also a part to participate in, in you know, the development of uh, what we are doing.